One of the most important things about learning how to use your Tango M2 is to understand the data displayed on the monitor screen. Most importantly, you will see that both the systolic and diastolic BP readings are displayed in large white numbers in the center of the screen. This is designed for clinicians to easily and quickly assess the most recent BP measurement. The size of these numbers will shrink and be grayed out after 60 seconds. This indicates that the BP reading is now more than one minute old. The heart rate measurement is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen. Directly below the heart rate measurement, you will see the double product, also known as the pressure rate product. This value is an indication of the workload being placed on the heart. Below that area is the SpO2 window. If the LPX pod system isn't connected, this area will be grayed out. When an LPX pod is connected, the SpO2 window will become active. Remember to attach the sensor to a finger on the arm opposite the arm with the BP cuff. At the bottom center of the screen is the K-Sound display window. Typically, you will see the K-Sound channel displayed as the cursor moves across the screen. At the top corner of this window, the text indicates whether you are acquiring a BP reading signal from a stress system or from the internal ECG board as a programmed interval. To the right of that text is the interval timer, which indicates the time since the last BP result was displayed. On the left side of the K-Sound window is the mode indicator. This enables you to easily see if the monitor is set to the DKA mode, which will be indicated with a green running man icon, or the OSC mode, which will be indicated by an orange non-running man icon. On the right side of the Tango M2, on the button panel, is a button with a green running man icon and an orange non-running man icon. This button allows the Tango M2 to toggle between DKA and OSC modes. When a patient is on the treadmill or ergometer, the Tango M2 must be in DKA mode. However, if you need to take a reading on a patient who is not connected to the ECG electrodes, you can press this button to switch to OSC mode. Please note that OSC mode is not motion tolerant and cannot be used during a stress test. Press the DKA OSC button to use OSC mode. The OSC mode message box will appear. Highlight yes and press the select button. Note that the K-Sound display window text is now orange to remind you that the Tango M2 is not in DKA mode. To return to DKA mode, simply press the DKA OSC button. This start-stop button is used to manually initiate a BP reading or to manually abort a BP reading that is in process. The stat button starts stat mode, which is critical when repeated BP readings are needed. Pressing this button puts the Tango M2 into stat mode. The display will continuously flash to indicate stat mode. Once a reading is complete, the Tango M2 will pause for a few seconds and then take the next reading. The Tango M2 will continue this process until either the stat button is pressed a second time or it has been in stat mode for 10 minutes. We hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. At SunTech Medical, we don't miss a beat, so make sure you don't either. Subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel today.